Don't you just love when you break your stick? The one thing that all drummers use, and for that matter a break, are drumsticks. Now like most people, whenever I break a stick, I always chuck it in the trash, but the past couple of years, I've been saving all my sticks, whether they're you know too chewed up, or I break them in half, or it's just a bad pair, but I'll save them with hopes of finding some sort of use for them. But I thought I would share with you all some uses for some broken and chewed up sticks, and some of these are going to be a little bit artsy and not really applied to the drum set. So we'll start with the more practical ones, and like the previous episodes, we only need a few basic tools, but mainly some sort of saw. So like a table saw, a miter saw, a band saw, a scroll saw, a hack saw, a reciprocating saw, a coping saw, grandpa's old rusty hand saw, a two-man cross-cut saw, a chainsaw, or even an axe. And people say I don't have any chops. Just know that any saw will do the trick. So let's get started. Seeing as I broke a stick earlier, let's break out a fresh pair. But hold on, wait, save that sleeve. What? We can use it. We can use this for something? Most older and cheaper pedals have some gnarly teeth on the clamp, and your hoop should have a protector like this on it, but let's be real. This kick, that kick, this kick, this kick, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and the one in that case tucked away, and including this kick, all don't have hoop protectors. You can probably guess where this is going. Take the drumstick sleeve, fold it around the hoop, attach your pedal, and that's it. Now you can justify putting off buying a real hoop protector even longer. This will also help protect your hoops if you're using one of these cheaper bass drum cowbell mounts. Anyone who plays double bass knows that your slave pedal has a tendency to walk away. Even though they have these little spurs on them, they still scoot along somehow, but a drumstick can help with that. Now depending on your hi-hat stand, this might not work, so if it doesn't, I'll show another solution, but all you have to do is slide the stick on the inside of the hi-hat stand and under the clamp of the slave pedal. And now you have just one more extra little bit of insurance. Back to my other hi-hat stand, this piece kind of gets in the way, so what you can do is cheat your cymbal stand in front of the stick. And this is optional, but you can cut it down and paint it black for that stealth look. Once again, we're talking about pedals, even though this is an episode on drumsticks. Anyways, I'm cutting the butt end of a stick at five inches long. Now I'll take this quarter inch steel rod and cut that to seven inches. No matter how you cut the rod, the end will be a little bit rough. So what I do is I'll put it in my drill and sand the end to smooth it out. Now we can drill a 5 16 of an inch hole in the center of the stick. You can drill this by hand, but a drill press makes this a lot easier. You just need to make a little jig like this to hold the stick. Now with the hole drilled, we can mix up some epoxy and glue the rod in.
Once the glue dries, you could use this as a regular bass drum beater, but I find it works really well with an auxiliary pedal. This next one is more of a hack, but if you show up to a gig and forget your floor tom legs, then some drumsticks are your best friend. Just shove them up in the mount and you're ready to rock. If you want to show off your drumming spirit during the holidays, you can make a simple ornament. Cut off the tip of a stick, smooth the end, drill a small pilot hole, attach a hook, cut some ribbon, tie it to the hook, and cut off the excess. If we repeat the previous steps but use a key ring instead of ribbon, you can make a cool keychain to show off to the world that you're a drummer. This last one is a little bit more useful than a keychain. Cut the butt end of a stick off at five and three quarters of an inch. Drill a hole in the center. Order yourself one of these bottle opener ends and screw it in. underestimated drumstick. I'm willing to bet that you have at least a few old sticks lying around. So as always, your homework is to find a creative use for a drumstick. And like some of the examples that I showed, they don't all have to apply to the drum set. My mom used to use my old drumsticks to hold up some plants. You saw that coaster that I was using that was made out of drumsticks. My buddy Tim Sway has made some incredible pieces of furniture using old drumsticks. I have a video on my YouTube channel where I took a whole bunch of broken drumsticks, cut them up, glued them back together, and made a bass drum beater. So don't be afraid to try something different because you're going to throw them out anyways, so why not try and get a little bit more life out of them? So get your creative juices flowing and use this video as inspiration and see what you can think of. So I am David Raouf, I'm out, and I'll catch you in the next one.